think I, I think I might have a fucking problem. Pushing out of rolling marijuana. Thinking about getting more to the bank, but they won't let me in cause I smell like dang. I think I might have a motherfucking problem. I think I might have a motherfucking problem. YouTube, what it be like? It's your boy Fo. Xbox 720 is the game of tag on the PS4 and yo, you already know what it is. We on that NBA 2K17 on that early morning flight and yo, bro, I just gotta say I'm sorry, man. I understand a lot of y'all have subbed to my channel for the 2K content and my shit has just been a dead channel as far as that goes. I've been doing a lot of mad and shit, so I get pulled in a lot of different directions. Get up. I get more questions because I started this channel originally uh, to be a Madden channel, bro. So I understand, man. So my bad. I'm fucking around and I need to get my hustle right. So I'm back with some 2K shit. We're going to keep dropping that 2K content, so fuck with your boy one time. Today we want to cover the Lockdown Defender. We want to cover... If if I'm coming back with some shit, I want to come back with some heat and something unique, okay? And I, I, I didn't see this content out on YouTube anywhere. So I wanted to make sure I could make a video covering this archetype and covering how I would make a point guard lockdown defender to be successful at the park, all right? Now, with that being said, we want to go ahead and jump into it. I would make a 6'5" point guard now you don't want to make him any shorter than that simply because you don't have to i'm going to show you like there's benefits this is the perfect size for this player he's going to be able to destroy the smaller players because he is going to be as fast as them and he's bigger uh but he's big he's six five with the longest wingspan so he's going to be able to play the six six and six seven playmaker he is going to even be able to challenge the six seven six eight point forwards and that is what you need if you're going to have a lockdown defender somebody that is thorough in the fucking backcourt on defense that's the reason why you make it right now let's talk about the wingspan we make the longest wingspan simply because bro it does not affect the shooting the way that you think it does it's just i the the benefits to having the longer wingspan on a lockdown are far greater than any other archetype you know what i mean simply because if we push this up it's a 60 regardless all right and and that's just what it's gonna be a 60 is what it is i don't want one or two fucking points of three i don't need that i need the wingspan bro like so i can get blocks and i can get steals better and all of this shit uh another thing is with the longest wingspan you still get a 74 standing and contested mid range and that is going to be excellent at the park 79 with a boost so he's gonna be green in middies all day long bro the only thing that you have to look at is the off the dribble shot it's a 67 when you boost it all the way up so the thing about that shit is is i've done the work bro like it can only go to 69 on average and 71 or well 70 or 71 and that's just not good anyway so who the fuck cares? Just don't play the archetype like that. Play the archetype for standing shots. If he's wide open, you know with the patches in the game, the shooting patches that they put in the game, if he's wide open, he's going to bang it with the catch and shoot badge and corner specialist. Um, also, you know, if he's wide open, he can hit from anywhere else on the court. You put that boost on 65-3, just shoot the three when you're wide open. Otherwise, find a different way to score. All right, so that's the reason why I think you want to make the longest wingspan because it doesn't really do anything for the shooting. It doesn't help you, and that's the only reason why you would have a shorter wingspan. Now, the benefits to the longer wingspan is this, and and I'll come back to that because we got to talk about some other things, and then I'll incorporate the longer wingspan within these other things. Now. We wanted to figure out strength and agility and lateral quickness, okay? So what I did with this 6'5 build is I first I put him at the lowest weight, and that would have been 174 pounds. But what I noticed when I did that was is that he was actually going to go to a 69 strength. 
and that's just fucking stupid. I don't know why they couldn't have just gave me a 70. 69 was such a dumb fucking number. So what I did was I added five pounds to him. So he's 179, and that gives me a 71 strength. Now, I know what you may be thinking. You must have lost something on your lateral quickness or your agility. No, that's the thing that was crazy about the shit. It changed two points, so I went up over a 70 strength. And keep in mind, when you're playing point guard, you're going to play playmakers a lot of the times. And I challenge you to look at their 2K card. What you're going to see with their 2K card, 9.5 times out of 10, is they have a 27 overall strength. Because they have the, And I'll put a video out. I was working on a video about that, bro. Like, playmaker, they don't give you enough attribute points because they're so balanced. You can't even waste attribute points on strength. If you do, you're going to take away from your shooting or some other shit that you need. So most people usually will just put it on rebound. They never fucking have strength. So for you to have a 70 strength at point guard, you're going to be dominating. Nobody is going to be stronger than you with a 70 strength. So fuck an 80 strength. You're going to have a 71 strength, and that's going to boost to a 76. Now, it did not affect my speed at all by doing this, adjusting it. So look at my speed. 93 fucking speed that boosts to a 98 bro 91 acceleration boost to a 96 93 vertical boost to a 98 vertical on this player longest wingspan 6'5 98 speed 98 vertical now you see what i mean about that chase down artist being very good for you you're gonna be able to run fucking people down on the fast break they're not going to be as fast as you, bro. So you're going to be able to run people down and get in the play and at least try to break, uh, break it up or foul or get the block, man, because you get a boost on your speed for the Chase Down Artist badge on Hall of Fame. So now you're going to be running like 102 speed or something up the fucking court trying to chase them down. You see what I mean? That's some LeBron shit, which is nice, all right? And then we look at the lateral quickness on this player. 94 lateral quickness that boosts up to a 99 is that not fucking insane like you have 99 everything except block your block's gonna be an 89 you get the five point boost on it it'll be a 94 so you see what i mean now about he can block he'll have 99 still 99 lateral quickness and defensive consistency this player is gonna be so fucking op at the point guard position but the last two particular things that I want to talk about, because these are the things that we're going to have to give buffs to to make it a better player overall, is the playmaking and the dunking. Now, when we look at the playmaking, it's definitely not what we would like for a point guard to be. But it's a 72 overall, so we're going to throw boost on it to make him a 77. And then we're also, uh, he has 68 speed with the ball, so we want to throw boost on that to make it be a 73. So we can kind of move around a little bit uh, with it as we move up and down the court. Now what we are going to do is we're going to animation glitch this player. And we're going to put all the elite dribble moves on him. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the ones we know that work. So we're going to take the Stephen Curry rhythm dribble. If you didn't know about that, look it up on YouTube. The information is out there. You can speed boost with a player that can't speed boost out of the Stephen Curry rhythm dribble. So that would be the one that I would use with the player uh, so I can speed boost. Then we want to use maybe Elite 2 so we can get crossover 16 to give us some space. And then we can diagonal speed boost out of that. We can give us a good Jamal Crawford um, in terms of some of between the leg size ups. Shit like that, man. We're going to be able to do great things with this player if we animation glitch him. So him being able to dribble and create a space you can still do that and also music mind frame and agent double zero just put out a video yesterday about being able to do a new momentum cross when you can't when you're not a playmaker for people that don't have that uh, ability to do the momentum cross so definitely check those uh youtube channels out because now you can speed boost and momentum cross with this player with those animation glitches and then when we start to look at layups and dunks I'm going to give y'all a little inside tip within this build video. I have contact dunks on all of my fucking players, even my sharpshooter. I got a speed boosting sharpshooter that has a 40 overall contact dunks, uh, and I be getting contact dunks, bro. The reason why I get contact dunks, though, what I've noticed is that the things that kind of help contact dunk is your driving dunk, 
but your strength. And I talked about this at length before in the past, but I think I just want to recover it real quick and then I'll be out on this video. Cause I think this is a helpful uh, piece of information for you to know going forward with some of your other builds. If you don't have fucking strength, then it's pointless to contact dunk people, bro. It just doesn't work. Now, what I've noticed is it's like Sharpshooter. And like I said, I think I'm going to cover a video because Sharpshooter actually is the opposite of a playmaker. It's so easy to get the attributes that you need that you have a ton of other attribute points left over to throw on shit like strength and shit like that because it's so easy to boost the shooting. You're like a 90 overall by the time you really don't need to do anything else to the player. And then you'll just have extra attri attribute points. And I threw it on my strength, so I have like almost a 60 strength with my sharpshooter and it causes me to be able to dunk on those little fucking playmakers even if they bigger than me they only have a 27 strength so i'm stronger than they are so when they go up to try to block me i knock them back down i'm stronger than them so i win it's almost like arm wrestling and shit if you're stronger you win the fucking matchup and that's the reason why i say the strength is going to help you so when we start looking at the layups and dunks the dunks, contact dunks is only 54. We boosted up to a 59. I'm telling you, he's still gonna contact dunk the shit out of a lot of fucking players because he's gonna have 71 strength. So if the contact dunk activates, then he'll most likely complete it because he's strong. You get, you mix that in with the fact that he has a 70 driving dunk, you'll boost that to a 75, and then you get tireless score, relentless finisher, and posterizer to help you help age you with that dunk and you are going to complete a lot of fucking contact dunks so basically what i've created for you is a player that's op on defense now don't get me wrong you can't fucking suck on defense you're gonna have to still play defense he's not gonna do the work for you but at the same time you have a player that's gonna give you an opportunity to always swipe and steal the ball his lateral quickness is gonna be amazing hall of fame defensive stopper hall of fame pickpocket hall of fame chase down artist and you know we got that long wingspan and great height 98 fucking speed plus 70 strength but we can speed boost momentum cross we can contact dunk you and we got a corner three and we got a decent midi that'll green a lot tell me this is not an ideal player um this is a great player you have to probably is it's probably it's probably something for uh the more skilled players out there um but at the same time bro if you were thinking about making a lockdown defender i hope this video um was like a good like open discussion about what i think a great bill is but i gave you some insight or some pointers as to why like to get inside of like what you're doing with this archetype and um how you can use like the things to your advantage that's in the uh player's toolbox all right so get in the fucking comment box and comment man if you have any questions like the video bro um if you felt like it was helpful at all if you're new to the channel sub to your boy and as always respect the ojs peace